Alright guys, and welcome back. So, in a sense, I'm not too heartbroken about um, having to start all over again, just because at least this time around, I feel I'm going to be a little, do a little bit more better in terms of, like, you know, knowing what the fuck I'm kind of doing at this point. Not that I'm saying that I'm pro-MLG at Darkwood suddenly, because that's far from the case, but at the very least, I kind of do have a better understanding. I've been reading a lot of comments from the first two videos that have been released so far, and I've learned a lot from those, so thank you for that. We also, by the way, throwing it out there, we also do have... Open this bad boy up over... Actually, let's not open that up yet, because I'm not ready to go out. We actually do have in the comments, um, the a user by the name of, um, well... I think it's like the Swaggy Swaggler, something like that, I don't know, I just call him Swag because he's apparently full of swag, but he just recently let me know in a comment that he's Polish as well and the game is being developed by a Polish developer, so there's going to be some stuff in the game that's going to be in Polish, like not unintended, like it is intended because that is what the lore is going to kind of be revolving around. So he did say that he will basically, in the comments, let us know whenever we run into like any sort of like Polish dialect, like in terms of items and journal entries. He will basically, um, translate it for us, so good on him, I'm really happy about that because I think that's a really cool thing that he's doing for us, so hey, whenever, um, something pops up on the screen or in the journals that we don't understand, you know, I can just have, a uh, be like, you know, swag, can you please, like, you know, please help us out here. Um, so we've, uh, put down the... Let me get my bearings here. What's, um, b -b 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 it's... No, I, I know, I know. I'm just trying to get the old <laughs> crafting menu up here. I know I should know this. Oh, it's tab, right, right, it is tab. So, bucket over here. There we go. Said buck. I can use this to gather. Oh, so you have to hang out with this. You can't put it in the well anymore. Is that part of the update or what? Apparently, because I can't. Oh, you can. Full of shit, never mind. <laughs> there you go. And a drink from this well? Right, well. I'm saying, yeah, put it in there, okay, never mind. Crisis averted there, yeah, so I'm full of shit, never mind. I, apparently I know less than I did the first time around, so we're in for quite a treat. I talked to Wolfman, he said that Chicken Lady's gonna be up in the Northeast, that's probably gonna head to soon, just because I would love to get back to the point where we kinda were in the last run before it ended. Which shouldn't be too difficult, just because we didn't really get too far, because I was still kinda learning the things about. So as long as we get that out of the way, I think we'll be relatively good in terms of uh, getting back into the swig of things over here. Now mind you, we don't have any weapons and I almost stepped on this mushroom patch. So we will have to be a little bit more vigilant about our surroundings and things of that nature. But, um... I'm liking our chances a little bit more. He said northeast, I'm just gonna walk directly northeast from our location and hopefully we'll be able to hit somewhere. Oh look, and there apparently now is a... a guide on the map, is that? Is that right? Could be it. Uh, let's see, another comment that I read, that I heard, was probably a good idea, is to head to the underground entrance soon, just because you could lockpick something on the floor, and acquire some good weapons. And then there is also the pig shack, I heard, that I could get an axe really early in the game, that you could, could help us out quite a bit. So, uh, I'll keep that in mind, and I'll see if I could run into that, uh, pig shack that I was told of. That's good, what do we have here? Who are you? What are you? Nothing already cool, so I'm just gonna steal your goods, because obviously you don't need them anymore, considering you are dead to the world right now. And chicken Lady House, good. So, oh, hey, hey, dog man, I'm good. We're good, my friend, we're good. Just let it be, alright? I don't want to get involved with the dog man again. That <laughs> fucked me up last time around. So we'll take this and this. Same old jazz, you know, nothing over here is gonna be anything new, but... At the very least, you know what I'm actually happy about? The game is running a little bit more smoother. So I'm not sure if that is because um, there have been a little bit of uh, balances to the game's optimization issues. Or because um, I am using a new... What is that? Something just ran off over there. I'm using a new recording uh, program. And I'm giving like my old ones a rest. And you know, I've actually been enjoying this program. It has actually alleviated some of the issues for my... Um, Recording capacity, so maybe it's part of that, and maybe part of also the game being optimized, we'll see. But either way, I'm kind of a little excited about it. Uh, I'm not excited about not finding much of items over here, though. And again, much like I mentioned before, this is uh, supposed to be a scary game, so I'm not gonna try to put on the old Falcon facade, you know? I'm not gonna be constantly chattering all the, here, all the time over here, I mean, I... Hopefully you guys do enjoy that, but, you know, just to keep up with the feel of the game, I kind of want to 
play a little bit more secure. Mind you, I'm not going to be over here screaming to the top of my lungs and, like, you know, actingly overly scared. Although, you know, if you watch my Project Zomboid series, you probably are aware that I tend to do that, not by choice, but just because I'm a coward. But, um, I, <laughs> I don't put up a front, so, uh, I will respect the game's atmosphere and everything like that, but don't expect me to be like, oh, I'm so scared, and like, you know, staring into the imaginary camera in front of me. Uh, let's see. Not that I'm, you know, ragging on people to do face camps, that's not the case whatsoever. Everybody has their own, um, I guess style of things here. Mine just happens to not be that, and putting up a facade. Um, alrighty, so we're looking pretty good down over here. I guess we're gonna probably just go into the house now. I just wanted to keep an eye out, make sure there was no other items we could kind of find around here. But it seems that for now, we should just probably head in here and see what's up. Just because I normally never do it, I'm not gonna use the fucking, uh, door. <laughs> at this point, I never use it, so fuck it. She yells at you for it. It's like, don't you know what a door is? I'm gonna try to do the voices too, by the way, again. I'll see how that goes. See how my vocal cords feel about that whole ordeal here. Alrighty. Before I talk to her, though, I'm gonna loot her. Recipe for antidote. I'll take that and we'll take some bread. I think the bread actually helps out with the um, stamina meter. I can't really wrap my hand around that one, but okay. If that's what it does, and that's what it does, I'm not gonna complain. Rag and bottle. Alright. Got a genie in a bottle over here. You know what? I don't know what it is about me and these references. Like, they're so dated. It's like, you know, I. It's like I, I almost cherish the fact that I'm an old ass man and I'm always making these references and like people are like, Jesus Falcon, really? What are you, like 79? Can't go in there. Got the well. Do, do I know about the well? We read about the well before, I'm not entirely sure. This is gonna give us a wheel if I'm right. Now the wheel, you need to take it to some dude. Um, I'm not sure who that dude is. It's not the dude, like the big Lebowski dude. I'm gonna leave this wood behind and I'll, actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave this behind. I think I'm too worried about my stamina situation. I'm gonna take that. Now, the wheel, I did hear that you do take it to an NPC. Which I'm not familiar with just yet, but I guess we'll run into. Ruin. Open the ruin. Wood. Unfortunately, I can't take more wood. Wire would be nice because I do believe you make the lockpicks out of wire, so... I wanted to keep the bear trap for my house so we could set up some traps. I'm not sure what the rope is for. Flare could be very useful. Uh Decisions, decisions here. Empty bottles, the same thing. We can make some traps at home. Alright, you know what? How about we just uh, try to... We should be able to make something, right? Torch? Right. So we can make right now a... Hmm. I guess we can make a Molotov. No, we can't. No room in the inventory. Well, there would be room if, you know, we'd uh, make it and then we'd get rid of some of the items we have there now, wouldn't there? Alright, so momentarily, let's put, um, old bear trap down. Running with bears. Here, bear trap. You hang out here for a second. Okay, good. Now, we will make Molotov. And that should free up a little bit more extra space. Right, excellent. And you know what? Just to get a weapon on us, at the very least, we'll do a plank with nails. Not really the best weapon, but hey, it's something. At least it gives me a little bit of a sigh of relief there. Now, we will take the bear trap. And I do believe there was something in here. Wire. Oh shit, now we have no room. <laughs> Back in square one, Falcon. Alrighty. There's no need for concern just yet. What we could do then is actually... I need those mushrooms to level up. Bottle, bottle, bottle. Alright, you know what? Fuck the bottle. I'd rather take the wire so we can make ourselves some... I'm pretty sure it's for the lockpicks, right? Yeah, I pretty much was a w sure. <laughs> I was hopefully aware that I was a case. I really hate the fact that, you know what, if it's gonna replace the wire, why not just, you know, whatever. Bear trap, go down here for a second. Gotta have an empty space. Otherwise, you can't put the lockpick in the same spot that the wire was gonna pretty much release for us. There you go. Pick that up. So we checked out the ruin, we got some wire, I'm happy about that. Before we continue onward though and talk to the lady, let's make sure that we check everything else. Remember, we didn't do this the first time around. Oh shit, it's getting nightfall already? I haven't talked to the lady though. Alright chickens, don't get crazy with me. Except it's red. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Can you stack plank with nails? I'm gonna assume that you can't? No you cannot, that's really fucking unfortunate then. Alrighty, would you hang out over here and then you 
go away. Turning nighttime, I'm a little bit scared, so... Red chicken, ordinary except it's red. This seems like really valuable to me. I want to also grab the other chicken eggs, but I can. I wonder if you could stack these bad boys up, too. Should I leave the rope? I don't think leaving the rope's a good idea, though. Let's leave the fucking matchsticks behind. If we could stack the eggs, I'll take the eggs instead. How about that? We can not stack eggs. Now, what the eggs are good for is really beyond me. I'm gonna only imagine that it's basically stamina, kind of like the bread. I almost walked into those mushrooms. That could have been a terrible thing. It's turning nighttime. That's a terrible thing. Got it. Alrighty. Um, anything else for us to check out here? No. Okay, let's talk to the lady. And then we run back home. That's all I could really say at this point. We'll also close this. No, don't. Don't lock myself out. Not gonna lie, I kind of freaked myself out a bit there. Okay. Chicken lady, let's talk to her. We, um... I'm not going to go through this dialogue because I've done it before. If you guys haven't uh, seen it, I would encourage you to watch, I think, the second episode of the series. Um, that covers this and I actually do the voiceover for everything, or at least I try to do the voiceover for it. But for now, since we're aware of what it is, I'm going to go through it again. Dog tag. Rada yada yada. Close already. That's Janik. We hear the noise outside. That should be the creepy kid. No, nobody has taught me how to use a door lady, okay? So he's supposed to be in the lawn. Let me talk to him so we can get the fuck out of here. By the way, the first time I heard this guy, I was freaked out quite a bit. And with good reason, because that song is annoying. It's actually not annoying, it's really creepy, but look at this guy. Holy shit. Alrighty, I, I did the voiceover for this guy too, so again, episode 2 if you guys want to check that out. I'm going to continue doing voices, by the way, so um, uh, people tell me that they enjoyed them. It's very um, immersive, so hey, cool. Hope you guys, I'm glad you guys enjoyed him. So we've done that, right, right, right. Now, the, the quest that he gives us is that he wants us to grab his other violin. I had to drop some items, that's not good. Oh shit, I need that card. Oh god, you gotta be shitting me right now, game. Alright, let me drop something really quick, it's nighttime. I need to go. I need to go, I need to go. Um, I don't know what to drop, I don't know what to drop. Uh, I don't want to drop the flares, batteries seem really important. Oh god, rope. Ready, rope. You can fuck off. Take the card. Okay. If we need rope, we know that's gonna be back at Chicken Lady's house. Let's take a look at our map here. Okay, we're over there roughly, I think. So, we just need to rush back home. Not to mention that I really haven't set up any defenses for the home area, so... That's gonna be quite a bit of a problem, I would say. Especially with, um, Satan running around. If you guys aren't aware of who Satan is, I would, again, encourage you to watch some of the older episodes. Um, that was terrifying. What's happening here? The thirst, right? The thirst is getting to me. We do need to get some water from the well. How far along are we? Please tell me we're almost there. Oh god, here it is. So let's get something out of uh, the well here to get some thirst completed. So we got a out of mushroom. Noise is outside. Please don't lock myself out of here. Okay. Now, what we do here, gotta find a room to stay in. I, I've been told to be really quiet. <gasps> is this completely open? Oh my fucking lord, it is. Should have done that before. So let's drag this over here. Okay. I know I'm making noise, which is the opposite of what people told me to do. But this was completely open, guys. So I hope you understand. I need to close that off. All right. And I was told to hide in a room with no windows, but every win every door has windows, man. What do you mean the door with no windows? Or the, the room with no windows? Everything has windows. Okay. I'm a little bit freaked out right now. So, what I'm gonna do... At the same time... Let's be very quiet. Shit. There, there was a, a thing that I could drop items into, right? That wasn't necessarily locked like the other one. Wardrobe, right. I'm gonna put this in here because I wonder that... I do know that when you die, you lose your mushrooms. So I want to keep that from happening. And uh, we need to hold on to that for now. <gasps> no, no, no! 
Oh! Ladybug. Okay. <laughs> Why did the ladybug just come in here right now? You saw that, right? She, she fucking... Ladybug, are you cool? Where's the ladybug at? Ladybug? The ladybug usually runs away from you. Why it's not running away right now worries the fuck out of me. Do I kill it? Do I dare attack it? Why is it doing what it's doing? This is... Alrighty. I'm sorry, ladybug. I don't want to do this, but this worries me. Huge bug. A shell and odd meat. Okay. Dude, that was so fun. I almost shit myself, no lie. When I was searching this thing and that fucking thing started to move by itself. I was like, nope, nope, nope. Okay. Listen here, you. I'm gonna take your odd meat. And the shell. What they do is really beyond me. But I will leave them behind until I... Actually, wait, wait. Did I hear noise? Let me put my volume up a bit here. Okay. Be very quiet right now. Gray potion. I need some item I don't have. Red potion. That's for the... The recipe that we do have. Lockpick. Okay. Molotov. Okay. Now. A little bit of irked out here. Not gonna lie. Let's... Oh yeah, I left the bottles, didn't I? I sure as fuck did. Where's my bear trap at? Did I leave the bear trap too? You gotta be kidding me right now, right? I left every fucking trap back in the chicken lady's house? Oh, come on, Falcon. I can't even booby trap my house. Okay. So here's what we do. We just hang out here and just fucking watch. That's all I really can do. Just kind of hang out and watch. Oh, daytime. Thank the fucking lord. No crazy shit went on this time. So, um, at the very least, we did survive the first day, thankfully. I kind of want to use my things to level up, but at the same time, I'm a little worried. I'm not going to do it until I have proper security in my house. I think that's going to probably be the best case scenario. So what I could do to make that happen is probably... Let's see about barricading some of our entrances here. Is this possible? Needs three, you have 12. Oh, definitely. We're going to be out of nails for another one, but if we get a few more nails, we could probably uh, barricade the rest of the windows too. And that's not going to that's gonna be a pretty good thing. Why is there blood out here? Holy shit, what, what went on over here? This is probably something that happened at nighttime. Crazy. Craziness. Alrighty, so let's call it an episode here today, guys. Um, it went pretty good. I'm actually enjoying this uh, new build, and um, everything's running really smoothly. That's what the best thing about it is for me anyway. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll keep going. I'm going to probably record a few episodes today just to make sure that in case we do get wiped anytime soon, we have a really good bulk load of episodes to show you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support really does mean a lot. If you did enjoy it, that is. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means, don't feel inclined to do so. I will catch you guys next time.